Hi everyone, I'm Tim Kimmel with Family Matters. You know, one of the things that we are so concerned about is, is how can parents connect to the heart of their children? Because that's our primary job. And, and it's, it's tough for families out there now because there's so many things coming at us and we can get off course on that. But we've come up with a tool to help you. Because you see, let's say you had a left-handed kid, but all you gave him was a right-hander's mitt for baseball. He'd be struggling all the time. Or let's say your child's, uh, you, you gave him shoes that were a, a size or a size and a half too small. He'd be uncomfortable all the time. Well, the fact is, is if we don't raise our kids according to their internal bent, their internal personality tendencies, then that's the same thing. It's, it's, it's working against the grain on them. It's, it's working outside their sweet spot. The neat thing is that there, there's a lot of great, uh, tools that you can use to find out your personality type, but they only work once you're an adult. You can't, you can't really use them until you're 18, 19 years old. Well, it's too late then. There's never been anything that accurately assesses a child when they're young. Well, we've changed that with the kids' flag page. Now, think about this. There, there's basically four quadrants of a personality, and we call them four countries. And, and countries use a flag to, to, as a symbol. And so we have four flag countries that represent four personality types, control, fun, peace, and perfect. And when you get your, uh, your kid's flag page kit, you open it up and there's many pieces to it and you have a game board. And what this really is, is an interactive game that a parent plays with a child. You play one-on-one -on -one, and, and when you're all done, you'll be able to, you and your child will understand what they most love, what motivates them the most, and the countries that define them. The, the flag countries that define them. And, and what kid wouldn't want to play a game that, that's all about them? Consider this the, the instruction manual that should have come with your kids but didn't. And when you get your kit, not only do you have the, the, the game board here, but you'll, you'll, you'll get an instruction manual. And this is what we suggest you to read first. And in this instruction manual, we have everything you need to know. It introduces all the pieces to this, to this kit. And, and, and the role that they play, and then clear instructions on how to, to do one of these, these kids on each one of your children. What you'll do is you'll take a, a deck of cards, there's 36 motivations here, and you'll just go through these things, and you'll read them. If your child can't read, you read them to them, or they can read them to themselves. And like this one, I never quit. You go after what you want, and you don't give up until you get it. And they'll take that and put it in one of three categories. Either that's always me, sometimes me, or never me. And they'll just keep putting it. I, I just want it right. Everything you do has to be just right or you're not happy. Well, where is that one? Is that always me? Sometimes me, never me. And you just, I, I, I understand you. When, when a friend gets sad, you try to make them feel better. That's, there's are three examples of these motivations. Once they're in those categories, then you take the always me stack and you, you get them to distill those down to their, to their top six. You put the rest of those back there. And then from the six, which is their absolute favorite? That's put right here is their favorite and then the other five favorites. And from that, you can take and score it out. Now you, you get a scorecard with it. There, there's three in this thing. You, you, you break one off and then it's, it's easily scored. Let me give you an example. Here's some that were, were scored and it shows uh, by, by looking at the, the, the favorite, the other five favorite and these, these uh, categories here, you can figure out just what their uh, home country is and their adopted country. And then from there, they take these stickers and they can make up a flag page that's all about them with their name and their home country, adopted country, favorite, and their other five favorites. Let me give you an example of some that we've already done here. Here's a girl named Charla, a little girl named Charla, and her she's from Peace Country, and her adopted country is Control Country. Here's her favorite, her other five favorites. So you can put that on a refrigerator or in their room, and, and, and this can be a great tool for them. And, you, and then, when it's all said and done, this book goes into depth on each country, and so you can become an expert on those four countries, and if you have more than one child, you'll probably have representation from all of them. Also, the combinations of countries and what they mean. For instance, this chart here shows you the combinations. If you have peace country and control country, you're raising an owner-manager. What about control country and fun? You're raising a leader. How about perfect country and fun country? You're raising an entertainer. And, and so we go through those combinations, and then we also unpack the a fabulous plan for parenting called grace-based parenting and that's 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 in this book as well as how to bring the best out of strong-willed kids we've put study questions in here and deeper 
uh, looks in the scripture so that you can study this in your women's Bible study at church or mops. This is a fabulous tool for mops. Or you want to do it as a couple's Bible study. You can do it on your own, whichever way. And, and you'll have everything you need to be able to make a great flag page on your children. And this works accurately down to five, but you can even do it on your kids that are younger uh, before they can read. You can do it on them, for them, and then let them do it once they get older. You're going to love this. Trust me. It's the owner's manual you wish would have come with your kids, but didn't.